Surviving the depths in Tears of the Kingdom is extremely hard. That's why today, I'm gonna show you how to get the Depths Armor, which gives you three extra hearts to walk across Gloom. And if you stick around to the end, I'll show you how to get a secret bonus weapon perfect for the Depths. I would also like to let you guys know that I have a goal of getting to 500 subscribers, so I would appreciate it very much if you would hit the subscribe button and help me out. With all that said, let's jump right in. Alright, so in order for you to get the armor, you will need to have completed at least one dungeon so you can talk to the Spargener statue at Lookout Landing. If you talk to the statue, you can buy something from him for a certain amount of posts. He will also tell you the location of his brethren for a large amount of posts, but do not do that because I'm going to show you where some of them are so you can get the armor. Alright, so I would like to note that there's one under the Great Abandoned Mine, which is under the Great Plateau. Now, this one requires you to grab all four of his eyes, which are scattered throughout the Great Plateau. Now, this is required to get the armor. But, depending on when you do this, you will either get a heart piece or not. Now, if you talk to this Bargainer statue and do the quest before you talk to any of the other Bargainer statues, you will receive the heart piece. But if you do not, he will not give you the heart piece and you will not be able to get it later in the game. With that out of the way, let's get started. So the first place we're going to be heading is right next to this chasm at the Great Plateau. And if you haven't put a travel medallion right here next to the chasm, then make your way up to the Temple of Time. Once you're there, talk to the goddess statue and then go back to the place where you just came from. Then head towards this broken piece, go down into the right, and break this boulder. <laughs> From there, you're going to be seeing the water drain and a tiny bargainer statue. Talk to it and go back to the Temple of Time. Once there, talk to the goddess statue and she will be marking all four locations of the eyes. First, we're going to be going to the one we just went to. Right next to you, you'll see a puddle of water. Look in and you should see a glowing eye. Grab it and chuck it into the chasm. Once in the depths, turn around and you should see a little spot where you can make a vehicle. It doesn't really matter what you make, just build something that will get you to the spot we're about to go. Then just strap the eye to it and make your way to the very back of the Great Abandoned Mine. Once you reach it, go up the stairs, and then grab the eye and go forth. Then just put the eye where it should go and talk to the post statue. The next one we're going to go to is the one east of the Temple of Time. Once you're there, you'll see a rock wall right in front of the chasm. Just blow it up and grab the eye that's right there and chuck it in. Now this one's going to be a lot easier, because if you turn around, you'll actually see some minecarts. All you gotta do is strap a fan to the back and drop the eye right in. Now just ride the minecart. Once you stop, grab the eye and go up into the right and head towards the post statue. The next one we're going to be going to is this one right here. Now once you get close, there will be a cliff, so you will have to make some sort of zone on machine. Now once you're up here, you'll see a piece of skyline. Just grab it and move it to the side. Then you'll see the eye and just drop it in. Once you're down here, head up the stairs with the eye, and then you'll see materials to make a flying machine. Now at first I just try to make my tiny one, but the thing is, with the weight of the eye, it won't carry it, so you will have to make something with the wing. Once you do, strap the eye to it and make your way to the abandoned mine. <laughs> grab it, head forward, and put it in. Now for the final one. Now to get to this one, you might have to build a flying machine and fly there. And if you have the shrine, I recommend teleporting there just so you can get there quicker. Now at this chasm, you'll see a couple of ice blocks. Just go to this one back here and melt it. Then grab the eye and drop it in. You'll see a little elevator that you can go up. Just grab the eye and go up. Once you're up here, they'll already have a pre-made minecart. So just put the eye on and ride. Once you stop, just grab yours and put it on the next minecart track. At the end, there will be another elevator that you can go up. After that, you can receive a heart piece or a stamina vessel. Now, there's going to be a couple of post statues scattered throughout the depths, but you do not have to do a quest. All you got to do is talk to them. Now, with that out of the way, the first one's going to be located southwest of the wetlands stable. Oh, and if you're wondering why I have a marker, it's because I talked to the little midget statue and bought the locations, but of course, you don't need to do that. Now, obviously, if you have a light rune near it, teleport to that, but 
but if you don't, the nearest chasm is going to be in central Hyrule, right here. Once you reach it, he's just going to be sitting there on the rock. Talk to him, and you can get the Tunic of the Depths for only 150 posts. Oh, and these posts will also give you the Dark Link armor, as well as any amiibo armor that you have already gotten in the past. The next one we're going to is the one just under the Mount Lanayru Skyview Tower, which is under Mount Lanayru. If you don't got a light route near it, there's a chasm right here. Now, if you do use the chasm, once you get down here, there's a pretty big dip on the way to the Bargainer statue. So you'll either have to glide or use a flying machine. At this point right here before the Bargainer statue, you'll see a waterfall. All you gotta do is go right and you should see it. Now, the second Bargainer statue you talk to, which is this one, is not gonna be giving you a piece of the depth armor, but he will be giving you the dark trousers. Okay, so the third one's gonna be located in the Pharon region just below this dragon. Dragon Head, south of the Construct Factory. And of course, if you have a light route near it, go to that. But if you don't, the nearest chasm is just going to be right here. Now, this one has an entire body, so you may have to build a flying machine or use a mixture of ascending and climbing to get to the top. And this one's going to be giving us the Gators of the Depths, and I'm out of pose. Great. Fun fact for those who don't know, you can actually find Grand Pose at the tops of the mines all throughout the depths. So, if you need to farm Pose, there you go. The fourth Bargainer statue is going to be located in the Akal region just below the Spring of Power. And if you don't have a light route near it, the nearest chasm is just going to be right here. And this one's pretty easy to get to, it's just on a little hill, so you might have to do a little bit of climbing. The fourth one will not be giving you another piece of the Depths armor, but he will be giving you the Dark Hood. And the final Bargainer statue to get the last piece of the Depths armor is going to be in the Heber region just under the Forgotten Temple. And if you do not have a light route near it, the nearest chasm is just going to be right here near Typhlo Ruins. Now this one is extremely hard to get to by climbing, so you will definitely need to use a flying machine. This one's going to be giving you the final piece of the Depths armor. Armor, which is the hood of the depths now if you want to get a secret weapon perfect for the depths Here's how you do it. You want to go to the call tech lab in the Akala region There you want to try to open the door and two Yiga enemies will come out now You want to defeat them, but with the Yiga blade master You want to make sure that you hit him even when you think he's about dead because if you don't He will actually teleport and you would not be able to get his weapon That's why I recommend saving before you do this in case you mess up once you defeat him pick up his weapon And literally just smash it on the ground till it breaks this will let you be able to get it in the depths. Now the pristine version of this weapon is going to be located just east of the Dueling Peak stable on the cliffs of Quince. Up here you'll see a little soldier figure holding up the sword. Now if you do not see this sword and instead a different weapon, it's because you haven't leveled up enough in the game. So you may have to fight higher level enemies and then come back here after a blood moon. And I recommend saving before you pick this weapon up because if you grab it and it does not have a good mod that you like, you may want to load back to that save until you get the weapon with the modifier you like. Now ideally you want an attack up 10 for the highest damage possible, but since I've gotten several of these, I kinda just want a durability up. Now you may be wondering what's so good about this weapon. Well, you see, when you charge attack, it actually does a wind slash, which is perfect for the depths because all the enemies when you get close to them will hit you and you will have broken hearts, but this way you will be able to stay back and hit them with wind. But before you turn off the video, let me show you how to make this weapon even better. Now there's two monster parts you could fuse to this. Number one, you could fuse a dragon horn to it so you can get elemental damage because it will turn the wind slash into an elemental slash. The second option, you can fuse a silver lionel saber horn to it and get an extremely high attack power. You can find a lionel with the horn at the floating coliseum in the depths. After you fight the couple of phases of lionels, a silver lionel will appear which has the horn. Just kill it and fuse it to your weapon. This build is incredible for the depths. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on any of my tutorials or theories. And with all that said, I'll see you in the next video.